dog's name is Charlie. He's three years old. He's a miniature schnauzer. We got him when he was a puppy. Um, he has a great personality, but he had some aggression issues. Um, it was just really stressful. We couldn't take him anywhere. We couldn't um, couldn't go to the you know the common and just hang out. We couldn't go to a restaurant on Newberry Street or anything. So it became a real problem in our lives. Once he got aggressive, he would bark, lunge, growl, just completely out of control. And if you got too close to a dog, he'd nip or lunge at them. And you know, living in Back Bay, that's a huge issue because you see, you know, 30 dogs in any given walk. Yeah, we would cross the street if we saw a dog. He actually has gotten bit. Um, but he got bit as a result of his own aggression. Like, he, yeah. he would show aggression towards another dog and the other dog would react. And people just get scared and would give us looks and pretty much be asking us to leave there. It, it was, was embarrassing. so embarrassing, yeah, and it got to the point where, like Pat said, we stopped taking him places because we knew that he couldn't handle it. All situations where there may even be little children running around. Um, we wouldn't go to picnics, parks, take him to the beach, anything. We never brought him anywhere. No matter where we Something. went, he was the worst dog around. We had actually saw professional help before, uh, a trainer that you know we spent a lot of money on and she fortunately yeah. couldn't help him. And we were scared that he, I don't know, might have to be put down or wear a muzzle or we would get in trouble right. if something happened. So Pat was convinced that no training was going to work and he didn't want to do it ever again and he just thought there was no hope for him but a local dog store had a... Um, uh, like a meet and greet with Walkie Walk and we went just to check it out and see how it was and after talking to you and explaining our situation just had a lot of different ideas and tailored it more to the individual dog. And the trainer from Walkie Walk came to the apartment and we met with him for you know a little while and he's very interested in everything with it has to do with Charlie, what his personality was, what his environment is, what, what his issues are, what we hope for the training. Because after we had the consultation, um, the trainer would come to the house three times a week, which was a lot more attention than we got from the previous trainer. I think it started off where the trainer kind of got him under control and then he kind of showed us how to do it and kind of passed it along to us while he was there so if we did anything wrong or needed to change something, he could tell us. You know, he spent more time training us than he really spent training Charlie, you know, he had Charlie under control in a day, it took us, you know, the full length of the training to, to get us under control. We actually never thought we would actually walk him off leash in Boston, and Walkie Walk convinced us that we would eventually, and now we walk him off leash all the time. Yeah, I mean, just given all his behavioral issues, and right off the bat, I was very skeptical going into the training, thinking that it wasn't even going to work, never mind walking him around Boston without a leash on. I just, I did not think it was even possible and then yeah, you know, no, one week, two weeks in the training and we were, well, you know, maybe this might work and then we got to the point where we would start training him off leash and he was just so perfect that we just said, you know, might as well give it a shot. We can't walk him anywhere without ten people stopping us just to say that he's just the best behaved dog they've ever seen. Or even if they don't stop us, we hear people like giggling or, or saying, oh my god, did you see that dog? And they, like almost every other person we see gives us a look and smiles or, or says something to us. It's really amazing. It's just a really strange change of events where within just a very short period of time we had the worst dog around to literally the best behaved dog I, ever that I've ever seen. It's just a miracle. It's, it's saved our lives with him. It really has. We take him to go out to dinner and I sit outside, he can sit outside with us, we can go to the beach, we can do all those things that we originally wanted to do when we first got a dog. Um, and then we couldn't for almost three years. And then... Yeah, I mean, we're really proud. You know, people are just amazed, like strangers on the street are like, just will we'll sit, literally sit and watch him. It's just a really, it's really interesting to go from a dog that didn't listen to you and was completely out of control to now to have a dog who listens to you in any situation. It doesn't matter what's going on. You tell him to come, he come, tell him to heal, he heals, no matter what. And, uh, and he's better for it and we're better for it and it's just been a really great experience. <laughs>